Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. We've done it. We're finally going to face West Ham in a live com. The match has not been rearranged. We will face them away from home today and we'll also face Manchester United in the League Cup quarter final. But of course there's been some fixtures to review since the last time we met. The first of which was a 3-1 away win against Hull City. Dimitri Basoli had put us in front five minutes in but Arba Zanelli equalised for Hull in the 36th minute. But Malik Wilkes with a double in the 74th and 89th minute gave us the win. Next up was a tricky away tie against Stoke City. But it was a game that we did dominate and Gonzalo Ramos got the goal just after half time uh, to give us the win. And as you can see by the stats... Neither side really took control of this game and created too many chances. We were just fortunate that we took the one that we did create. Next up was a 3-0 demolition of Swansea, but it didn't quite look that way. In the 70th minute, things were still at 0-0, but Esposito ended up getting the first goal of the game. Corley Woodrow came on for Reese Nelson on the left wing and bagged himself a brace in the 79th and 85th minute. So he, in 15 minutes, he managed to get two goals. It's something to consider, considering Reese Nelson... He hasn't really done much this season, to be honest with you. And finally was a home game against Ipswich last time out, and we won once again. Gonzalo Ramos with another goal in the 27th minute in what was a pretty dull affair. And that sees the table looking like this. We sit top of the table, six points clear from West Ham with a game in hand. So if we do manage to win a day, we could really, really stretch that lead that we've currently got. We are nine points clear from West Brom in third position with a game in hand. That's who we are realistically looking at because whether we win the league or we come second, I don't really care. Automatic promotion is all I am targeting. So West Ham have been avoiding us ever since the summer transfer window episode. Every episode since I've planned on playing them in a live com and every episode it has been rearranged. So this is how we're going to start for today's game away from home against West Ham. Jamal Blackman will start in goal. Cavaria, Batella and Tisserand alongside Tony Herrero will complete our defence. Bissoli and Moat in the centre. Wilkes, Bruno Costa starts uh, just behind Esposito Diaz. As, as you can see, Gonzalo Ramos has been struggling for weeks, but he's so good. I can't afford to drop him too often, but he's on the bench. He's ready to come on the second half should he be required. Uh, Corley Woodrow is going to get the start ahead of Reese Nelson. He just doesn't play very well, Reese Nelson. I don't really know why. We've tried him in numerous roles in the team and it, nothing seems to click. Uh, so we'll give Colly Woodrow the start today. He's done well when he's been given the game time at left wing. And Sebastiano Esposito will of course start up top. Now recently relegated West Ham have probably the best squad on paper in the league without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, Fabianski and Goal, Fredericks, Chirik Chez, Aaron Creswell, Laxalt, Nemanja Matic, Declan Rice, Pablo Fornals, Harry Wilson, Habs Haksabanovic and Sebastian Haller. Declan Rice, I can't believe he's still at the club. Why uh, one of the big sides in the Premier League haven't took him yet? I don't know, but Southampton are interested. Hopefully he will leave the club in January just to make our job a little bit easier. But we are the league leaders. We are unbeaten. Um, obviously, I don't expect to remain unbeaten after the day. I think West Ham will probably get the better of us. But we'll just wait and see. So it's a little bit weird going into any game in our current form expecting a defeat. But West Ham really, really do have a much better squad than us. So I wouldn't be surprised. First highlight of the game, Bruno Costa with a free kick. Harry Wilkes. Harry Wilkes? His name's not Harry Wilkes. But Wilkes was at the back post and he couldn't get his head on target. Pablo Fornals brings it out. He's brought down tactically by Bissoli. Don't get sent off. He gets a yellow card. That is absolutely fine. But Wilson plays in the resultant free kick. We managed to get rid of it. And Basoli on his yellow manages to bring it forward for Esposito. He hasn't got many options. But we're slowly but surely getting there. He tries to feed through Corley Woodrow. And it doesn't happen. We play the ball beautifully to the right hand side for Wilkes. Who crosses the ball in. Esposito is there. And his header hits the top of the bar. Ryan Fredericks gets injured for uh, West Ham. So they bring on Nathaniel Klein. Just a casual Nathaniel Klein. You know nothing to worry about. He's still only 29. The first half is going out with a whimper and that is it. West Ham nil, Barnsley nil. I would take that right now if you were to offer it to me. Um, West Ham don't look particularly threatening but uh, we have went on the counter as they are retaining a lion's share of possession. So we will see if that could maybe unlock a few doors. Bruno Costa with a free kick on the edge of the box. He plays it in the back post again and Wilkes is again with the header not being on target. West Ham with some nice build-up play in the defence and between midfield. But Corley Woodrow nips in and pinches the ball. He plays through Esposito, goes wide. And Sebastiano Esposito puts us 1-0 up against our main title 
challengers. That is absolutely brilliant. It's Aaron Creswell with the crucial mistake and Corley Woodrow with a dink through ball and Esposito remains cool, calm and collected. Gets his 19th for the season, 1-0. Another highlight now, Wilson with a free kick for West Ham, goes for goal. Blackman is there though, he can uh, easily make the save, but it does result in a corner. Wilson with, is to take it, Tisserand around, manages to get rid. And maybe it's a counter-attacking opportunity, football manager, or is it just going to end? Bruno Costa gets tucked down, nah, just ends. Another highlight now, 63 minutes in, Esposito receives the ball. He's got a lot of work to do, he gets past one man though. He's got uh, arrivals in the box, but he goes for goal himself. Fabianski with an easy save in the end. If Esposito was just a little less selfish there, I think he could have stopped, played the ball back, and we might have had an easy goal. Only 20 minutes remain in the match. There is another highlight. Moat pinches the ball from Nemanja Matic, played in the championship, and he drives forward on this left-hand side. He's going to go for goal. You, you can just tell straight away. He was he wanted the... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so nice when it doesn't happen to you. Esposito, he, he will never score a better goal in his entire career. Just watch this. This is absolutely unbelievable. Fabianski kicks the ball out straight against Esposito. Esposito doesn't even double over. It mustn't have been a very strong kick. And it doesn't even tell us which how amount of goals he's got because even the match engine can't believe he scored that one. <laughs> what a way to win this. Well, hopefully win this game. Made out with three subs now. Bringing on... Uh, who did we bring on? Jordan Williams, Halmey and Gonzalo Ramos for Tisserand, Moat and Cavaria. And Wilson with a free kick again. He goes for goal. Goes just wide. And as a result of that, that probably means we are going to get three points today against our main rivals. Time is ticking away. And thank you, Lucas Fabianski. Sebastiano Esposito with a brace gives us the 2-0 win. And we've never looked better. So I do have a match against Redden in between um, before the Manchester United game. So I, I will quickly play that and then we will get on with the Manchester United Live Cup. So we have just played the Redden game away from home and won 3-1. Marcel Tisserand with the first goal, Esposito with the second and Moat with the third. They did get a second half goal through Kachunga, but um, it wasn't enough to get them back into the game. I'm just waiting until you say this. We are top of the table. We are 12 points clear from West Ham with a game in hand that is absolutely unbelievable 26 games into a championship season still unbeaten <sighs> we're going up boys i'm saying it now we're going up so manchester united i am not expecting anything from this game just as i wasn't expecting anything from the manchester city game but if we can have a good performance all the better expect to go out if we get to a semi-final of the league cup in the championship that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Jamal Blackman starts in goal. Cavaria, Batella, Tisserand and Tony Herrero in the defence. Basoli and Moat in the centre. Gonzalo Ramos comes back in. Uh, a big game today, so I need my best players. Wilkes on the right-hand side. Nelson on the left and Esposito up top. Van de Heerde is on the bench. He did come on last game. I forgot to mention it. Um, his stats have decreased, but not like massively. So hopefully we'll be able to resurrect him in the second part of this season. But um, for now, we just need to ease him back into things. Let's get the kick off and see how we'll get on. We are going to go cautious straight from the off here. <laughs> Just, you know, it's Manchester United we're playing. First highlight of the game, Luis Alberto with a free kick for Man U. wan receives it. Uh, playing a bit about between themselves, not really creating the space, but the switch they play to Marcus Rashford on this left-hand side who goes for goal and hits the post. I suspect there's going to be a lot of highlights today, um, and I would love to say it's going to be a lot of hours, but I don't think it will be. Marcus Rashford receives the ball from Allen. And goes for goal and hits the side net. Luis Alberto with a corner. 10 minutes in. It's played in. It's cleared by Tisser, uh, Tisserand. But Marcus Rashford can reclaim the ball. We don't even look like we're in this game to be honest. Lot Lotaro Martinez tries to play it at the back post. It gets blocked. It comes out of wan on the right hand side. Martinez is there. Hits the bar. <laughs> uh, we're, we're hanging on. Hanging right on. So as you would imagine Manchester United having the majority of the possession. And a large percentage of the shots. But we are going into the uh, half time. It's ticking away. And if we can get in at 0-0, I'd be absolutely delighted. Um, yes, I'd be absolutely delighted. And that's it. Half time. Manchester United 0. Barnsley 0. We'll kick off for the second half. No need to make any changes. We'll see how the boys get on in the second. Highlight now. 52 minutes in. Could it possibly be our first attack of the game? No. Marcus Rashford <laughs> defends well and finds Martinez. A great challenge by our defender, but Alan and again Batella 
What an absolute monster he is. We give the ball away though, just panicking at the back when we have it. Not our usual calm, composed selves that we are in the league. Benega finds Marcus Rashford in the box. Great block by Cavaria. No, 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 no. Not like this. Good save. <laughs> I mean, that would have been embarrassing really, wouldn't it? Corners to be taken though. Luis Alberto is going to be the man who takes it. Tisserand is defended excellently from set pieces today. And hopefully that's the highlight over. If we could take these to a penalty shootout, I will be absolutely delighted. Not that I expect our boys to be able to win. Because, um, you know, we haven't got the best penalty takers in the world. But we did beat Southampton in the second round of penalties. So this is our third Premier League opposition in a row in the League Cup. So the fact that we're even here is absolutely unbelievable. Luke Shaw switches the play to Gerard Delafio, But Tony Herrero is equal to the challenge. And maybe we could pounce at an attack of our own. Herrero is driving forward. Decent challenge by Delafio. And uh, Man United are likely to counter-attack. Or are they? David Patella brings it down. Tries to find Esposito. Comes to Wilkes on this right-hand side. Cavari is overlapping. Please find him. Gonzalo Ramos goes for Reese Nelson instead. He's in the box. He goes for goal. He finds Esposito. <laughs> and completely, undeservedly, 60 minutes in. Esposito's 22nd goal of the season puts us 1-0 in front with only half an hour remaining. And this would be the ultimate of smash and grabs. Reese Nelson tries a couple of times to get the ball in. He eventually makes it. And Esposito's on hand to bury it. 67 minutes in now. Manchester United with a corner. Blackman comes out and claims it nice and easily but he gives the ball away way too cheaply. Martial must have came on, he's on this left hand side and an absolutely unreal save from Blackman and that is absolutely fantastic. Another corner for Manchester United, it's going to happen one of these days if we keep giving them corners. Martial he's still got the ball, Greenwood what a save, oh my god I think we've got Superman in goal. Please get rid of this Greenwood over the bar 20 minutes remain, come on boys Oh my god, there's only 10 minutes to go. I'm not making any changes as things stand. The way the boys are playing is absolutely superb. Um, backs against the wall, but we are making it work. Small and long ball over the top. Mark Mason Greenwood's in behind. He's on a tight angle. Blackman with another good save. Eight minutes. It's eight minutes to survive. That's all you've got, lads. You survive for 82. What's eight minutes between friends? And I tell you what, give him, give him MBE. He's an absolute legend. Another highlight now, Wilkes receives the ball from Cavaria, tries to set away at Esposito, he nods it back to Gonzalo Ramos and Cavaria, he gets to the byline, is he going to cross this in? He is, Nelson, to Moat, and it's 2-0! <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable scenes, only 5 minutes to go and we find ourselves 2-0 up against Manchester United. You know what it is with football manager, when you're winning, you are winning, and even against a team who should be easily smashing you, we have proven that form is class. Absolutely brilliant stuff. 86 minutes gone now. This is surely us through to the semi-finals. We'll look to make our changes. We'll bring on Apo Halmere. We'll bring on Corley Woodrow. And we'll bring on Ian van der Heerde on that right-hand side. Give him a couple of minutes of game time. And that is the match ticking away. And we are through to the League Cup semi-finals. Esposito and Alex Moore are the players who get the goals. But Jamal Blackman, I tell you what... He was an absolute legend in Gualtadier. Fantastic stuff. Unbelievable scenes. We've beat Southampton. We've beat Man City. And now we've beat Manchester United in this run of the League Cup. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. In terms of the other players. Other teams still left. Chelsea, Liverpool, Bournemouth. Bring them all on. We'll take them all. Whew, bit of a come down now. After that. We've got unknown gate. Oh, you, sorry lads. It's not going to be a January transfer window special. It is going to be Crystal Palace in the FA Cup third round. And whoever it is in the League Cup semi-final, we've got to bring that. Although, actually, I tell you what, it is going to be. It's going to be a very long episode. It's going to be the two League Cup semi-finals. Um, we'll play them both in the same episode, but we'll also wrap up the January transfer window in that period as well. So it's going to be, it's going to be a long one. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.